हेलो टू ऑल माय स्टोरी लवर्स वेलकम बैक इन स्टोरी टाइम चैनल आई एम पल्लवी रीडिंग इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरीज फॉर यू टुडे आई एम रीडिंग स्टोन सूप देन हाउ दे मेक स्टोन सूप लेट सी अ विलेज अ फ्यू स्मॉल कॉटेजेस स्टैंडिंग क्लोज बाय दे बिलोंग टू मोतीराम सोनाबाई heerabai and rupabai it's evening they are chatting outside motiram's house now motiram says your farm produce was really good this year i am told sonabai so was yours i hear now motiram says i don't want to advertise it though it might attract guest traveler enters from a corner the villagers don't see him here by you are right guest can be nuisance now sona bai says i agree especially uninvited guest motiram uninvited guest are pest traveler becomes nervous doesn't come forward now here abai says true i never waste good food and money on others rupa bai do you think that is right how can we refuse them here abai just find some polite excuses that's all sona bai you are right I can always cook up some excuse Motiram me too for me charity begins at home and stays at home anyway i must attend to my work now see you all neighbors see you later they enter their homes traveler come forward Now what traveler says what hard luck i am poor food store traveler and i am so hungry but this bunch of villagers look tough i don't think they'll offer me food or rest but let me try he knocks on motiram's door motiram opens the door Motira yes who are you and what do you want traveler says i am a traveler i am very hungry and tired can i please have some food and a place to rest for the night motira dinner is over there is nothing left try as well shut the door with a bang now traveler how rude hmm. let me try the next door knocks on sona bai's door she come out good evening kind lady i am a traveler can i have some food and a corner to rest for tonight sona bai putting her hand behind her ear What did you say traveler aloud can i have some food sona bai what why there is a plenty in the forest find a fallen tree and chop all the wood that you need traveler i said food i am hungry sona bai you agree fine then go and chop the wood goes back into the house traveler well well that was a clever excuse she pretended to be hard of hearing let me try elsewhere knocks on hirabai's door anyone at home any food for hungry traveler hirabai comes out good evening ma'am I wonder if I could get something to eat and a place to rest for the night. 
he robbed boy, pretending not to understand his language. Angwa yangwa, ande fa dana ana teja rapa yana racha. Traveler, I don't understand you. He robbed boy, shinkering hand. Dung, I would turn me on your tongue. Oh, as a vessel. Gives back inside leaving the traveler be weller. Traveler. So that was her tree. Talking gibberish. I am not defeated. Knocks on Rupabai's door. She comes out. Rupabai says, Yes, who are you, young man? I have not seen you around. Traveler. I am a traveler and wonder if I could get some food as well as a corner to rest for this night. Rupabai thinks, Alas, my ladder is empty. I am so hungry myself, but I have nothing left in the house. Traveler, I am sorry to hear that. Rupabai, I am sorry too, but I can't help it. Sorry. Turns to leave. Traveler aloud. Wait, madam. If you are also hungry, I can make us both some soup. Rupabai, but I told you my ladder's empty. I can't offer you anything. Traveler, all I need is a cooking pot, a spoon, and some water. I have a magic stone in my bag. When you boil it in a water, it makes a delicious, nourishing soup. Rupabai, really? A magic stone? And all you need is a pot of water? I think I can manage that much. Traveler, yes, just a pot of water. Only a big one. Rupabai goes back to her cottage. Traveler collects wood and makes a fire in one corner. Other neighbors peep out from their door windows and watch quietly but curiously. Rupabai comes out with a large big pot. Rupabai, here's your pot of water. Traveler, thank you. Now just wait and watch. Puts the pot on the fire, takes out a stone from his pocket and drops it into the pot. Rupabai, a magic stone that makes soup. I can hardly believe this. Sit down to watch. Traveler, sniffing and pretending to enjoy the aroma. Ah, lovely. It's going to be Really delicious. If only we had one or two potatoes to add, it tastes heavenly with potatoes. But alas, we don't have any. Rupabai, mm. one or two you said. Let me see if I have just one or two left somewhere. Brings a few pill potato. Here, luckily. I have just a few left. I have even peeled them for you. Traveler. Wonderful. Puts the potato in the pot, stays for some time and sniffs again. What with the potatoes you have given? The soup will now be terrific. Sniffs. Carrots and tomatoes would give it a tempting color, wouldn't they? But that would be too much to hope for. Rupabai, hmm, I don't know. Sonabai comes out with some tomatoes. Sonabai, hello, hello. Maybe I can be of some help. I had reserved these tomatoes for tomorrow. But I am always willing to help, you know. And I know that Hirabai has plenty of carrots. But I am not sure if she will share a few with us. Hirabai enters with few carrots. 
I don't have plenty. In fact, I too was reserving these for tomorrow. But never mind. If Sona Bai can spare her tomatoes, I too can spare these. After all, you don't get to see a magic stone making a magic soup every day. Traveler bows to the woman. I am really speechless. You noble ladies, this is going to be a famous soup. Adds vegetables, stirs and sniffs. It reminds me of the soup I had made some time ago. I had added just a few beans and onions and I think a little piece of ginger and what a flavor it had. Those are the only little things missing now. But what we have is also good enough. You can't always have the best. Enter Motiram. Motiram says, Why not? If you can have the best, why miss the golden chance? Here, take these. When help is needed, old Motiram doesn't lag behind. Offers vegetables. Now traveler bows. How can I ever forget your generosity? Adds all the vegetables, stirs and sniffs. Aha! Absolutely mouth-watering. What flavor! What aroma! What taste! Takes a sip. Marvelous! If only I could add a pinch of salt, it would be perfect. Rupa boy, I'll get some salt and bows for all of us. Traveler, thank you. I was about to suggest that. Exit Rupa boy. You are all being so kind and helpful. It's an unforgettable experience. Now Rupa boy returns with the salt, pepper and bows. Traveler adds the salt, stirs and serves the soup to everyone. Rupa Bai, ah, oh, wonderful. You can taste the goodness of fresh vegetables. Now Sona Bai says, yes, unbelievable. No one would think that this soup was made with a stone. Motiram, you have said it. Such a delicious vegetable soup. And made with a stone? Hira boy, I wonder what happens to the stone? Does it melt away? Traveler, oh no, it remains the same. Takes out the stone from the pot. Take a look, this was the stone that made the soup. A sight to the audience. Have you guessed the secret of the stone soup? Smiles. You can make it even without the stone. Now, curtain as everyone enjoy the soup. Now, this is the very funny story. Do you like the story? Then tell me in the comment box. And now, tell me, will you make stone soup today? Tell me in the comment box and subscribe our channel. Bye-bye.